Yeah, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Victor Obasi. And uh, today, I'm going to be talking about um, dilated uh, fundus examination, or what we call DFE. DFE is um, a big word for dilated eye examination, which represents um, the eye drops that the doctor puts, uh, your eye doctor puts in your eye to check the back of your eyes. Um, frequently, I find patients come into the clinic and they say, doctor, I don't want any drops in my eyes today. I just want a prescription for my glasses. To me, I think uh, that's like uh, going into a fine dining restaurant. You pay for a full course meal and tell them you don't want the main meal. First and foremost, a comprehensive eye examination has to generate two results. The best possible correction for your vision and secondly, a detailed information on your eye health status. The prescription you get for your glasses only tells you that your central vision is good. Nothing to do with your eye health because you can have very good vision but your eye health is very poor. So most patients tend to um, correlate a very good vision with good eye health condition. It doesn't um, work that way. So for me, I believe a full examination must include a dilated fundus examination. Once your doctor gives you prescription for your glasses and does not go ahead to put drops in the eyes to check the back, he or she only did a half-baked job. Look at it this way. The pupil is very small. The pupil is the opening that allows light to the back of the eyes. It controls the amount of light that goes to the back of the eyes. When you're in an environment that um, has too much light, the pupil constricts. It's a reflex action. Pupil constricts, it becomes a lot smaller so that too much light doesn't go to the back of the eyes. When you're in an environment that is dark and um, the eye needs more light, the pupil dilates to allow more light to the back of the eye. So, the pupil is controlled by two different muscles. The ones that constrict it and the ones that dilate it. These two muscles are almost always working, uh, they work in opposite direction. When one is working, the other one relaxes. When one is relaxed, the other one takes over. So, most times we don't even know that uh, how this whole thing works. But you know when you're in a dark room, you get more light. When you're in, uh, in a, a very bright place, you still get the same amount of light. That's the work of the pupil. Now, when your eye doctor is trying to check the back of your eyes, he or she has to shine light to the back of the eyes to see. What happens? The pupil automatically constricts when the doctor shines light into the eyes. So it becomes a lot smaller. When the pupil is very small and the doctor tries to look at the back of your eyes through that pupil, he or she will only see a very small, small area in the back of your eye. But what the drop does, which is the dilating drops, uh, uh, media still most times, 0.5%, what it does is to relax the pupil completely. So that way the pupil is as wide as possible. When the pupil is very wide, the doctor can now look to the back of your eye and see almost the entire back of the eyes, or the retina, as we uh, technically call it. This way, the doctor can take a very good look at the back of your eye and be able to tell you comprehensively how good your eye health is. So... The doctor that does not put drops in your eyes to check it, or if you insist that the doctor should not put drops in your eyes to dilate the pupil, all that doctor is going to be able to see is a, a very small area of the back of your eyes or the retina and then extrapolate that based on what I saw in this uh, small area, the other part of the retina will likely be the same, which is almost not true. That, that's a guesswork. It's almost not true. True. So it is important 
that when you go to your eye doctor, the drop should be done. Even if the doctor forgets, remind them. The drop, of course, uh, will sting for a few seconds, and it makes your vision blurry for about two hours. And that's because, like I said before, it keeps the pupil dilated. The pupil can no longer constrict. If the pupil cannot constrict, you can't really focus. So you find things are a little blurry for about two, um, for about two hours. But this drawback can be uh, helped. If you're going to be driving after the examination, you know the vision is going to be blurry because the pupil is dilated and um, a star light comes into the eye, which explains the glare that most patients complain of when, uh, when the pupil is dilated. Get a pair of dark sunglasses. Take it with you when you're going for your eye examination. So when the pupil is dilated, the dark sunglasses you can wear to drive or you can wear it over your um, regular glasses. That way it reduces the amount of light going into the back of the eye now that the pupil is not, uh, uh, is not able to function in that regard for the two hours when the pupil is dilated. But the advantage to this is um, it gives the doctor a very good ground to be able to tell you actually how healthy your eyes right it gives the doctor that ground then it serves as a baseline for future reference so if i check today and say okay no these are all the things um, i'm seeing or i saw in your eyes today and um when you come back a year after suddenly i find something that wasn't there before then i start to question it but if every time you come in oh doctor i don't want any drops in my eyes i just want a prescription for glasses if every time you come in and something now eventually happens and we have to check the back of your eyes, we don't have a clue how long that problem has been there. It may have been there for a very long time. And uh, every time you come in, because we're not doing the drugs, we'll skip it. We don't even know. But who loses at the end of the day? is not the doctor. It's you, the patient. Because you paid for the eye examination already. Why not take advantage of what you paid for and um, have the full package? You doing asking for just prescription for glasses will not reduce the cost of your eye examination to half by half. You're still going to pay the same, um, uh, the same eye examination fee. So, if you paid for it, make sure that you get the full benefit. Things like cataract, glaucoma, diabetes, macular degeneration, and a, uh, a plethora of other conditions, eye conditions, cannot comprehensively be diagnosed uh, and graded without a dilated fundus examination. So I just hope that um, we get it and they understand why it, that it's not just the do that the doctor likes um, to make your vision blurry. There is a reason for it. And if there's a condition, if you have medical condition that um, contraindicates the use of this drop, your doctor will advise you. In which case, there are other options. They can take uh, uh, retina pictures, right? They can take retina pictures. Some of the retina cameras have the option uh, of uh, taking pictures of the back of the eye, even when the pupil is um, not dilated. But it is still, you still get a bit, you still get better information when the pupil is dilated. But at least it gives you an idea. Rather than you're not doing the drops, you're not doing taking uh, paying for pic to take pictures of the back of your retina. You just want prescription for glasses. That is absolutely not the best way to go. What baffles me, though, is when parents bring their kids and they say, look, doctor, I don't want any drop in my kids. They don't, their eyes are very good. They don't have uh, any eye conditions. Are you the one to decide? The doctor decides based on what he or she has seen. If you know, then you don't need a doctor. So for me, in such cases, there are times when uh, if I feel that it's really necessary, even if it means uh, calling children's aid society, children's aid society, to make sure that the child gets the, uh, the attention that he or she needs, I will go to that extent. Because that child can grow, uh, can become of age tomorrow. And um, suppose that child loses his or her vision. The child can come back and... Um, uh, press um, charges against the doctor. 
that the doctor should have known better, even if he, the parents or guardian put it in writing that they don't want um, uh, the drops to be done, the doctor should have known better and probably explored other means to uh, go ahead with the test or at least refer the patient, the refer that uh, child to a specialist. Most, pa most patients will go to the specialist office and will not decline dilated eye examination done. But at the optometrist office, they will say, no, I don't want the drops to be done. But look at it. For you to go to the specialist office, who's going to refer you? Is the optometrist. Right? Most uh, uh, specialist ophthalmologists won't take you as a walking patient. Is the, is the optometrist. So if your optometrist is, uh, if you don't allow your optometrist to do the dilated, uh, dilated eye examination, how is he or she supposed to know that there are conditions behind your eye that warrant referral to the specialist? So this is um, an area that we should um, be considering when we, the doctor owes you nothing. All the doctor needs to do is to document it in his or her file that a uh, patient was educated on the need for dilated um, uh, fundus examination and the patient um, declined. You are the one that paid for the examination, so you have every right to decline it. So the doctor documents it that the, uh, he or she explained the need for the uh, procedure to you and you declined it. If that doctor's uh, 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 medical records gets audited, he or she is off the hook. So you are the one that will pay the price. We only have um, a set of eyes, two eyes. You don't want to uh, make decisions that could let you lose even an eye. So I guess um, that's why I decided I was going to shoot this video, at least to enlighten uh, people more on the need for those drops. Even if the doctor forgets, please make sure remind them. It is part of what you paid for. A comprehensive eye examination entails and must include a dilated fundus examination to be able to tell, actually give a good, uh, give a concrete answer on how healthy your eye is. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching my video as uh, usual. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section. Other than that, I'll see you guys uh, next week. Keep sharing the videos. And um, if you think you learned one or two things from the video, give it a like. Hit the thumbs up button. Thank you.